I get asked all the time if I do taxes. I'm a bookkeeper, I teach bookkeepers, and taxes do definitely go very hand in hand with being a bookkeeper. So today I have a list of eight reasons that you might wanna consider being a tax preparer along with your bookkeeping business. I'm gonna start out with my two cons and the reasons why I personally haven't really wanted to pursue this. One is I don't like how it's a seasonal business. You just get so, so busy during tax time and I feel like accountants like can barely eat and sleep and function. And then it's like a lot of stress during one time a year. And then, you know, then they can, not that they relax the rest of the year, but you know, I just don't like the feeling of being so stressed one time a year. And then the other reason for me personally is just, I feel like my time is full. Um, like I feel like I, and working the amount that I want to. I have the number of bookkeeping clients that I want to, and I do YouTube, and then I have a very full life outside of work. So I just haven't taken the time to learn that new skill. Anytime you're doing something new, it takes, it takes you longer at first. It's that difficult learning curve of trying to figure out what you're doing and feeling like you don't know, feeling that imposter syndrome. Um, I have a video about that if you're interested, it looks like this. Um, so yeah, so I just haven't prioritized it, haven't taken the opportunity, but it is a really great option for you guys if you're interested in that. And the number one reason, of course, maybe of course, is that you can make a higher income. So you really can charge a premium for tax preparing. It's an essential thing that people really want and it's a more specialized skill. So anytime you specialized your skill set and you've gone training, gone through training and you know practice and learning, then um, you're gonna be able to ch charge more for that. Number two, I kind of mentioned it a little bit, it is essential, everyone has to pay taxes and a large majority of people want help, especially if their businesses are kind of confusing or more complicated. Um, everyone needs to pay taxes and so it is an important thing to be able to help people out with. Number three, it is a way of marketing to bookkeeping clients. So I have found that business owners get really on top of things right around February-ish when they're like, oh, I need to file my taxes. If you do both bookkeeping and tax preparing, you can definitely marry those two and get all those new bookkeeping clients right around tax time. I did just do a video about what is the best time to get clients. Spoiler alert, it's around tax time, like February-ish when people are getting ready. The thumbnail looks like that if you want to check out that video after this one. If we haven't met before, my name's Morgan and I love helping bookkeepers out. I have a free masterclass and a free checklist you can check out in my description box. All the stuff is linked down there. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more bookkeeping videos. And I always really, really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up. Number four is efficiency. So the client now doesn't need to hire two different people, a CPA, and a bookkeeper. They can just have you to do their books and their taxes. So this will save them time in meetings and communication and that kind of thing. They just have one person to go to. They don't need to facilitate any other discussions. I don't know about you, but every year I spend time communicating with accountants. I have a video about how I work with accountants. It looks like this. So sometimes the accountant will be like, what's this transaction? Like, why did you do this exactly this way? What's going on with this part of the books? But if I was the one who did the books and I'm the one doing the taxes, I would of course already know the answers to all those questions. So it saves that time. Similarly, number five, it makes quarterly taxes more accurate. So typically I don't see my clients reevaluating the amount of their quarterly taxes throughout the year. Sometimes they do, and especially if there's a big like uptick or a downtick in income. I have a video about quarterly taxes that looks like this. But if you are bookkeeping throughout the year and you have that tax knowledge in your head, then you can definitely kind of tweak the payments as you go along and you would know right away, okay, this was a month that we made like twice as much as usual, we're gonna owe more in taxes. Number six, it is a relatively fast like thing to get certified in and to figure out and to add to your business. It's not like you're starting over from zero. You kind of already know what's going on and it's not like you know becoming a doctor where you have to get years and years of experience. It's relatively fast. And obviously I've never gone through the process so I don't know all what it entails. I do have a friend that just did it and she loves it. She thinks it's a great add-on. Um, so let me know in the comments if you're interested in a more dedicated video about how to become our tax preparer and I can uh, pick her brain a little bit and ask her like kind of the process that she went through. Number seven, it's flexible. So this is kind of 
actually the opposite of what I said with the seasonal business. I just watched a YouTube video. I'll link it down below if I can find it. And the person was saying that she liked that it was a seasonal business because she could just work really hard, earn a bunch of money. And then I don't know what she did the rest of the year, but she felt like it was just more like vacation time. And the, she really felt like she had a flexible schedule. So leave a comment below if you like the seasonal thing or if you're not a fan of it. All right. And number eight, it will teach you how to save money on your own taxes. So I own a small business. My husband owns a small business. It feels like we're paying a lot of taxes all the time, especially when you're getting that money taken out quarterly and it's not just like out of your paycheck. It really hurts sometimes to pay all those taxes. So as a bookkeeper, it's taxes are still kind of a mystery to me. Like I'm relying on someone else. I'm relying on my accountant to tell me the best way to, you know, spend my money and what is a good tax write off and not. But does he care about my taxes as much as I would care about my own taxes? Probably not. He's probably not like scouring everything to get me the best possible deal. And if you were a tax preparer and if you had that knowledge, then you could do that. And I think it's very possible you could save money by having that knowledge and really um, dialing into all the tax savings possible. 